Today I will be talking about Sally and Child team. So what it is and most important why we need this, this is all gonna be in this video. So the Sally and Child team is not fully functional team, it's just a sub team or I would call it as an extension to our original team. And we use this to add some custom functionality to our website or if we want to edit some templates, some styling for our website team, or we can use this as well if we want to edit some templates from our plugins which we are using. So that's all happening here. Why we can't edit it straight away in a Salient team itself or those plugins is simply by if we are getting updates for that team or the plugins which we are using, this will simply overwrite all information and we will use we will lose all our changes which we done so far. That is why we need that safe space which not gonna be kind of overwritten and so the changes always stays where they should be. So how to add child team to our website simply happening the same way as it would happen with any other team. So we will go under appearance and teams and that's where we will find all our existing teams which we have on our website. Currently I have only one team here which is Sully and team itself. So now please keep in mind that the child team can be used only if you have actual team underneath because like I said still all the functionality and the style is still has been used for the original team itself as you can see here we still have Sully and section here we, where we can do all the edits to the team and stuff like that. So if you don't know the Sully and team is paid team and uh, yeah the money it costs it's I would say very affordable because the things you can get out of this team is a lot for the money. So well worth that. Now, we won't be able to find the Sally and Child team in WordPress kind of team library, simply because it's not there. But what we need to do, we need to download it to our computer and then we can upload it to our website. Now, where you can get this child team, I will put the link down below in the description. So go check out, that's where you will be able to download Sally and Child team. Now I will click upload team, I will click choose file and I will find it on my computer where I saved it. And once that is done, you will see that salientchildteam.zip is here. I will click install and this will install our child team. So very simple step. Now if I will go back to appearance and our teams, you will be able to see that we have now two teams. So this is our original Salient team, which is still active. And this is now our child team, which we just installed. Now I will show you my website here. So this is our front page. This is how it looks. So that's there. Now, if I will go back and activate our child team. Let's go back to the teams itself. Now you can see that active is now child team. And if I will click refresh here, you can see that website is still looking and functioning exactly the same as it was before. So nothing is really changing when we are switching to uh, our child team. Now what we need to do from here, now it's the point where we are adding our custom either functionality or we are adding custom templates, which we specifically modified for our website. Now how we can edit our kind of uh, child team files is by simply going in team file editor. And from the drop down, of course, you can choose from the teams which are available for you. But the default selected one will be already, which is active one. In this case, this is Sully and Child team, which is active. And you will find just two files here and there will be one CSS folder as well. So if we want to add custom functionality, which we will be doing in the next video, then I will just simply click click on this functions PHP file and this is where we will be adding our custom code. So this will give us some custom functionality, which of course we are looking for because we want to kind of either add some custom functionality which is needed for our website. So that's all happening here. Now how to add kind of custom template files, how to edit those ones I'm not gonna show probably in the near future because it's more already advanced and I want to leave you with kind of basic functionality because it's well more than enough than you probably will need but sometimes something like this may be usable for you that is why I want to show this. 
Now, what's going to happen, let's say, if you did some mistake and something went wrong, what you can do, you can always go back to appearance and where you have your salient team, you can click activate on this one. You will switch away from your kind of uh, child team where you have your custom functionality or things. And uh, yeah, if you don't know how to revert things back and something doesn't look right, what you can do, you can of course save all the changes which you've done in that, let's say, function file or if you have some custom template files and from here you are able to delete this one and just simply start all over again. So this is just, I'm showing you just in case something went wrong and something is not right, switch back to original team where none of those custom things which you added in uh, is gonna be, everything will be back well, as it was before you install it, any kind of child teams or custom functionality and everything should function again. Now, I hope this all is now cleared out. Now you understand what is child team, how it works. And uh, yeah, if you like this content, don't forget to hit the like, share it, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one when we will be doing something else. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.